Oh, you know what? Uh, people are so excited. I went back in 2019. It was beautiful, probably the highlight of the year. So excited to see that again this year. Uh, good morning, everybody. We are looking live over our uh, Malibu. Uh, excuse me, this is Hollywood Hills, but we're looking toward the valley and we are seeing uh, the clear sky. So a little haze out there, but for the most part, sunshine as you head inland. But the clouds still hanging out at the coastline from downtown Los Angeles to LAX, to the South Bay, and even into Ventura County, where Camarillo is feeling about 54 degrees under a cloudy sky and the clouds lingering across Santa Ana as well. So the coastal communities expected to see a break in those clouds over the next few hours. If you are headed to Malibu this afternoon, we've got temperatures in the lower 60s, upper 60s in Long Beach and Laguna Beach as we head to Orange County. Temperatures about 66 degrees. So I want to show you what to expect over the next seven days as temperatures will be quite warm today and then we will cool things off as we head toward Thursday. So all areas will see temperatures bottom out as we head toward the end of the week. So look for temperatures in the 70s and 80s today to drop into the 60s as we head toward the second half of the week. And then we will see temperatures rise yet again as we head into the weekend back into the 80s. So if you are not a huge fan of the cooler temperatures, the good news is we've got the warmer temperatures back as we head toward the weekend. <laughs> like a roller coaster. It, it is a roller coaster as it always is in the weather. Department. We love it. <laughs> All right, it's time to take a coffee break. We're gonna start with how one country is preventing more than 100 deaths each year by making alcohol a little bit more expensive. Yeah, so this is fascinating. So we're going to go to Scotland right now, and apparently they used to have the highest rate of alcohol related deaths in the UK. Mm -hmm. Also, back in 2018, the government, they made an alcoholic choice or choice to make alcoholic drinks more mm -hmm. expensive to help reduce that. So after a couple of years trying it out, they found out it actually works. I mean, the country has reported a 13% reduction in alcohol related deaths. That ends up being around 150 per year, but most of them would have been from long term diseases rather than accidents. Uh. Yeah, so government officials say they think this worked because heavy drinkers often look for cheaper alcohol. So having to pay more for it actually reduced the amount hmm. that they bought. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. It makes you wonder if they did that here in America. I mean, how that would go over 10,000 people died from DUI crashes alone. Wow. So if alcohol was a little bit more expensive. Could that reduce it? Possibly. And same with cigarettes. If you tax yeah. them higher, you know, like what benefit do they really have? Right. Yeah. But true. as we saw with the pandemic, people still drink, regardless of the economy, <laughs> regardless if they don't have yeah. a job. So. Right. Well, in that environment, you know, yeah. highly addictive. I know. All right, Chris, thank you. Actress Jennifer Garner is opening up about why she tries to steer clear of all coverage featuring her or her ex-husband, Ben Affleck. In a recent interview, she was asked if she's seen the memes mocking Affleck's disinterested expression at the Grammys, which we've talked a lot <laughs> yeah. about because they're kind of entertaining. Uh, she said she tries to avoid looking at memes and media coverage about anyone in her life, no matter whether it's good or bad. Garner says seeing anyone in her family being made into memes doesn't make her feel nice because it reminds her that their lives are up for the public to judge. Yeah. So she's, she's better off just avoiding the coverage altogether. I think I she's guess, smart. Yeah, that's a good way to stay grounded. That's you know, a lot of discipline, though, because you, you know, in the public eye, you, you want to know what people are saying about you. But I think that for everybody, it kind of just makes it a little easier to take, right? And it's, a, it's a hard thing to ignore coverage when you're Absolutely. being tweeted at or you're at the grocery store and you're on the cover For of a sure. magazine or your exes. I mean, it's not easy to do that. It requires a lot of discipline. I mean, even on, on our level, you women get torn apart so much worse than men that it's awful. So it's like RuPaul, I, sells, RuPaul says, don't read the comments because yeah, and if you they're always mean. And you respond, you just say, Thank you for being so kind. Right. Or, or, or thank, thank you for, for your watching. kind words. Right. And it's better to, to not take it to heart, good or bad, right? Yeah, not let it get to your it's head if it's about, good and not be insulted if it's bad. All about perspective. There you go. Right. <laughs> well, uh, it is pretty common to snack on some popcorn or yeah. a couple snacks while you are watching a movie, but one company in London is taking that to the next level and turning going into the movies into a full dining Ooh. experience hmm. that matches what's happening on the big screen. Oh, wow. what? Oh, okay. that's cool. Pretty cool. So the experience is called Taste Film, and people who go to taste dishes from a menu inspired by the movie. So you're watching one TikTok user documented her ratatouille oh. experience where she got to try the title dish. 
Along with others featured in the film, other experiences opening up will center around movies like Willy Wonka. Ooh, lots of yes. candy. Lots of chocolate. Clueless. I was kind of thinking about, well, what would you eat? Yeah, what did she eat? Clueless Bridesmaids too, the movie. Um, but they're only happening in London for now. I think Aww. it's a good idea, but That's I was fun. thinking, well, what do you eat from Clueless? They what had that be? family dinner, remember? Oh, yes, that's they true. Had, they I did. can't remember what they were eating. But also, that means she was using her cell phone during the whole movie being annoying to other people. <laughs> oh, that's true. Way to call that's document point. herself. What about bridesmaids? What do you eat? Yeah, bri oh, uh, wasn't that the, I think you just the drink the bridal shower, too. Yeah, where they have the big cookie. Oh, oh the big cookie. Right. Right. Yes, so maybe, wasn't yeah, Jordan yeah. Almonds on there? Jordan Almonds, correct. Yeah. Yes, too. We're remembering so much. I know. the nostalgia. Uh Okay, couples looking to exchange their vows in Sin City will have another venue to choose from this coming weekend. I'm excited about it. Oh, no. Look at it. It's the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. I did not expect Jamie, should we be changing our plans? I think we should totally redo our whole idea of what we're doing for our weddings. Not that Alex and I are marrying each other, by the way. And if you were, that's okay. Yeah, it would be totally fine. Doug and might not be happy about that. Yeah. Uh, but this is the wedding chapel. The brand announced they're looking to help couples make their big day a little less stressful by providing a <laughs> chance for them to elope. I'd be pretty stressed out <laughs> to get married in that. You don't, well, you, you don't eat dog. pork, do you? So this is like, oh, no. Uh, to elope with all expenses paid in Las Vegas, those who opt to get married at the hot dog shaped cart will get a live <laughs> whistle quartet performance <laughs> wow. and a wiener cake to celebrate. A wiener cake? <laughs> An Oscar Mayer wiener. Don't put your head in the gutter. No, no, no. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. I didn't do that, Jamie. <laughs> can apply starting today. Oh, I want to see the couples who show right. up to get married at the Wiener Mobile. This is the, the most poppy break ever. <laughs> it really is. But you know what? That will be kind of a fun story. You know, you tell your kids someday yes. that you got married under an arch next to the I Oscar I wish Mayer. I was an Oscar Mayer. I was like to attend someone else's wedding right. in that day. That yeah, is what I yours. truly <laughs> like to yeah. be. That's today's if poppy I was break. an Oscar Mayer Wiener. <laughs> okay, still to come. At 48, she's officially a mob. Hillary Swank gave birth to twins.